Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a reverse lookup in a table uh, using Excel formulas and macros. So what I call a reverse lookup, for example, if here I have a table a, a table of uh, different appointments uh, with different uh, different customers. For example, I'd like to know all the appointments that Charles has taken and I want uh, the table to look up all the days and time and days um, for these appointments. So I have to check all the values here and each time return the date and time for these appointments. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, and I will give you the file. It's going to be right below the video. There's a link for you so you can download it already and uh, follow with me how we do this. So to do this, I'm going to build, actually, I'm going to build a custom formula which is going to list all the appointments. So I'm going to call it, um, so I'm going to to make a new uh, new Excel module, Excel module, and I'm, go I'm going to write a function which is called, going to be uh, table lookup, taking two arguments, table as range and uh, table table as range and value um, and value so and table is going to be the initial table so here I'm going to um, no, do I need it no I don't need it so first uh, I need the row header I need the uh, the first column, so column, uh, row, and first, I need the first column, and uh, I'm going to return, what am I going to return? Uh, I need table lookup, I need something called table lookup that I will return in the end. And so what am I going to do? Um, so I'm going to loop, I'm going to loop in the whole table. So I'm, I'm going to loop, I'm going to for each cell in table, uh, next cell. Um, and here I'm going to, uh, Here I'm going to do what I'm going to um, to do if if cell dot value is value then uh, and if so here I'm going to add this uh, add value to the list of appointments uh, initial so initially the table lookup it's going to be nothing um, and if I want to add it to the list of appointments what am I going to 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 add? So here, if I if I find the correct value, I want to know which one is the uh, the value in the first column, which one is the value in the second column in the in the first row. So for that, so for that, I'm going to use date. Uh, not date because it's a restricted keyword, but uh, I'm going to say appointment date uh, and appointment uh, time. And then I'm going to see what I'm going to, um, to add to my list. Um, so imagine that I already have these values. I'm going to say uh, that the table lookup Call table loop join um, 
join the table lookup and uh, delimiter I'm going to use a space I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to take the table lookup and um, and I'm simply going to add uh, the appointment date and uh, so it's going to be for example Wednesday, Wednesday uh, at and the appointment time and I'm going to make to uh, to add a simple delimiter in the end and I need I need what I need a separator like this okay and now I have to compute the date and the time so uh, so for that I need the first row so um, first column here I'm going to do the first row uh, so the appointment date it's going to be so appointment date is going to be sales uh, for the date I need the the current column and the first row so first row and and uh, cell dot column uh, dot I need the value which is inside Um, and for the time I need the first column and here I need the cell the current cells uh, as row so for the time yeah for the time I'm going to look for I'm going to keep the current row and look in the first column here um, and now I have to compute this first row and uh, first column. So first row is going to be uh, table dot one. The first uh, the first cell of the table dot um, row. And this one is going to be the, um, dot column like this. So, and the function that we have is table lookup. So, does this work? Is table if we do a table lookup of charts in this table, does it work in the whole table? Doesn't work. Why? Because I messed the parameter. It's first the table, then the value we're looking for, and it tells me that Charles has um, meeting Monday at eleven, Wednesday at eleven, which is true. Uh, so what I could do here, I'm going to do a copy, paste special values. I'm going. I'm actually going to make a unique list of all the people in that chart in that table uh, I'm going to do uh, data data what data uh, remove duplicates that's this one yep okay um, These are all the unique customer names uh, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this as an absolute reference and I'm going to look for each time the name that I have here, which is going to give me all the appointments. Um, 
And so here I have all the reverse lookup. I have the list of all the appointments for each person. So for example, Tom, I have uh, Monday at 7, uh, Tuesday at 9, Wednesday at 10, and so on and so on. So this is very convenient. Uh, we made the function that does a reverse lookup. So of course, there are ways to improve it. For example, we could put um, a nicer delimiter here, or depending on what you're looking for, maybe we could just put the first appointment. For example, uh, we're here, we could, here for Tom, we could just keep Monday at seven and remove the rest. Kind of depends what you're looking for and which uses you want to, to do with that. Um, but I don't, but I leave you download the file right below so you can check and improve, uh, improve the lookup. So, um, yeah, hope it's going to be helpful to you. Don't forget to download the file and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tip. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified as soon as I publish. See you tomorrow, champions. Ciao.